I'm Sherry White from Fountain of Life Ministries International. And I just I feel like the Lord has put a message in my heart, a short one, uh, concerning uh, bringing down other gods in our life. Uh, in Exodus chapter 20, uh, this is the chapter where God gave the Ten Commandments uh, for us to follow. And of course, we know that Jesus Christ uh, came and he fulfilled the law. And now we operate uh, by the Spirit and through the Spirit, being led by the Spirit of God instead of the law. The letter of the law killeth, but the Spirit of God maketh alive. And it says in verse 20, uh, chapter 20 of Exodus, verse 3, You shall have no other gods before me. Uh, sometimes people try to set up monuments and altars uh, to uh, other gods and to other uh, things and, and uh, where they will t uh, be noticed by other people in the world. Uh, they have uh, ulterior motives and purposes uh, for doing this, but the Lord says there shall be no other God uh, before me. Uh, and in Deuteronomy um, chapter 11, uh, it reads uh, in chapter 11, verse 16, that we're not to be uh, deceived, um, that we're to love and to obey the Lord only. Uh, in verse 16, uh, it says, and I'm reading from the New International, it says, Be careful or you will be enticed to turn away from it. And in the King James it says, Deceived. Uh, you will be deceived to turn away and worship other gods and bow down uh, to, war uh, to them. We are not to be deceived, but we are to be doers of the word. In the book of James it says, If you're a hearer only, then you're deceived. But but if you are a doer of the word, then you're not going to deceive yourself. And while we're there in Deuteronomy, turn over to uh, chapter 12, verse 3. It says here, uh, Break down their altars, smash down their sacred stones, and burn their, their poles in the fire. Cut down the idols of their gods and wipe out their names from these places. You know, some people set up monuments and altars, as I said before, for those uh, individuals that uh, there's an influence uh, in these monuments. There's an influence in these altars, and that's why the Lord says, bring them down. And, and right now, I just want to ask you if there's any altars in your own life uh, that take the place of where God wants to be in your life. Uh, is it money? Is it things? Is, is it material possessions? Is it your children? Is it your, uh, your church group? You know, what is it? Um, if you have any of those altars in your life, I encourage you to go before the Lord and to seek His face and turn and serve the living God. He is the one that wants to be. He is a jealous God and He wants to be first place in our lives. And so I'm just asking you if there's any altars in your own life, any go other gods in your own life, that you bring them down and you serve the true and the living God. God bless you today.